Welcome to a new episode of my High Performance Java Persistence video tutorials. In this episode, we are going to see how we can use Kadota to simplify the process of writing JPA Criteria API queries. Kadota is a code completion Java IDE tool that uses artificial intelligence to provide suggestions based on the most common ways of using a certain API. Setting up Kodota is actually very easy. All you need to do is open IntelliJ IDEA and install the Kodota plugin, which is provided free of charge. After installing the plugin, a new Kodota panel will be available in IntelliJ IDEA. Now let's open the Criteria API test in my high performance Java Persistence GitHub repository. The test uses four entities post, post comment, tag, and post details. In the after init method, we will persist the post entity along with five post comment child entities. In the test method, we want to write a criteria API query to fetch the post entities that contain at least one post comment with a given review. First, we will create a JPA criteria builder instance. You can see that right after declaring the local variable, Kodota tells us how we can retrieve the criteria builder Java object reference from the JPA entity manager. For the criteria builder reference, we can see that Kodota is suggesting us to call the create query method in order to obtain a criteria query object. That's exactly what we need to start writing a criteria API query. For the criteria query reference, we can see the most commonly used method calls, which are suggested by Kodota. We're going to call the from method to specify that we want to query the post entity. We also want to join the post entity with the comments collection. Next, we are going to define the WHERE clause of the criteria query, which uses the LIKE operator defined by the criteria builder. We also want to call this thing to remove the post entity Java object reference duplicates generated by joining the post and post common tables. From the entity manager reference, we can see that Kodota suggests us to call the create query method, which is exactly what we need to do next. The most commonly used method of the JPA query object reference is get result list, which we are calling as well. Now we just need to set the pass distinct through JPA query hint to avoid hibernate from including the distinct keyword in the SQL query, since in our case, distinct is used to remove Java object duplicates from the returning post entity list. The assert method validates that there are post entities matching the provided filtering criteria. When running the test case, we can see that the Criteria API query we've just written with the help of Kodota runs perfectly. Besides giving you instant code completion suggestions, you can select a given class or method and choose the Get Relevant Examples Kodota option from the right-click context menu. Kodota will provide you with a list of examples taken from various projects that have been previously scanned and analyzed. 
You can also navigate the source code and get the entire class, where the code example originates from. Writing JPA Criteria API queries is not a trivial thing to do, since, unfortunately, the API is not very suggestive. With Codota, you don't have to memorize the exact sequence of steps required to create a Criteria API query. Codota will guide you while writing the query, therefore increasing your productivity.